hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today's recipe i'm preparing patch patch soup you might be wondering what patch patch soup is patch patch soup i named because i went to my garden to get my water leaf and my scent leaf i have other ingredients and i just want to quickly cook this um soup so i named it patch patch soup let me know in the comment section if you have ever used what scent leaf and water leaf to cook a soup as a combo so guys see how the soup is looking so so good and you can take this with any swallow of your choice so guys these are the ingredients for my patch patch soup you can see my scent leaf here they call it effery so it is totally washed i got this from my garden this is water leaf also from my garden palm oil periwinkle my panda fish stockfish fillet crayfish i be using some fresh pepper salt ogirisi and my no so guys what i'll do now is for me to slice this scent leaf and try to wash it as if i'm washing bitter leaf so i can take out some of the liquid so it doesn't overpower the um water leaf this patch patch soup is something you gather from your house maybe when you don't want to go to the market and you are craving to eat swallow you don't have um time to go to the market you want to eat so go to your garden pick whatever you have and prepare your soup so guys i will now slice this water leaf now meanwhile the meat is on the fire it is already cooking there and i seasoned it with um, some salt some seasoning cube and just um, onion that's what i use for the seasoning so it is boiling right on the fire So guys i'm done washing the scent leaf and you can see i'm just trying to wash it a bit so i can take up some of the liquid so it doesn't overpower the other um, leaf which is water leaf so i start washing i'll pour it in a strainer to take out the excess liquid so guys you can see i'm done washing and this is what the scent leaf looks like now so now i'll take the water leaf and also cut i pray this soup comes out so well if not some people will not be taking their lunch today when i was trying to conceive the idea of this soup my kids were asking me mommy what is that you are cooking hope it's going to come out well because if not we are not going to eat your soup bowl. i said don't eat i'll eat the soup myself so my people this is the meat so now I'll add the stockfish fillet so it can soften a bit. Then I'll add manla fish. Then I'll add in some fresh pepper and some dry Cameroon pepper for flavor. I always like Cameroon pepper in my soup because of the flavor it gives to it. Then I'll add some cube. Then add some little salt. Of course, our crayfish. Then ogirisi. This is ogirisi. It gives your soup another flavor it takes your soup to the next level so I'll add some palm oil or stir it maybe for like five minutes let all the liquid enter the meat so guys after five minutes this is what we have and i'll add in some periwinkle i'm adding the water leaf now after adding the water leaf, I'll add in some crayfish just for more flavor and taste. I'll stir the pot. You can see what we have here. My kitchen is already smelling so amazing now. So I'll apply the pot again for like two minutes and then I'll add the scent leaf. So guys this is after two minutes this is what we have so i'll now add in the scent leaf and i'll add in some more crayfish i'll combine everything together and this is what we have let me know in the comment section if you have ever tried using scent leaf and water leaf together as a combo to cook your soup 
<laughs> so my people this is my part first so you can see how fine the face is and i'm going to take him in with correct pounded yam so guys if you have watched up to this moment and you haven't liked this video keep liking and keep sharing and if you are new here i said thank you i mean following me god bless you i love you all and guys i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye bye